Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 a day trade setups for today. So public holiday yesterday in the US, and uh, nothing really went on. But uh, we do have some really important structure to pay attention to, and I've already got a limit order in. So uh, let's just run through what those opportunities are. So drilling down the three hour, you can see we did have this bit of a sell off on Friday. Uh, but have a look at the oscillators now. Uh, they are starting to separate and they're separating quite drastically. And remember, every time they separate, when we're in this upward trend like this, typically it means there's a big move coming because here was the last one there. And look at the move we had. Here was another one. And look at the move we had. So that's pretty much what's brewing at the moment. This swing high here is obviously a level to pay attention to. At 43.97 or 43.98. Uh, we do have this diagonal trend line here as well, and uh, it's a little bit messy, but nevertheless, that has been tested a number of times. So that's five times in the last two weeks. Then when we get down to the hour, you can see we are extremely oversold right now. Um, granted, we do have a crossover and we had a bit of a rejection yesterday with this pin bar of some structure, which is up here. I think we must just put that in because that may just hold up price. So as it dropped below Friday's price, there it is there. So for all intents and purposes, this has gapped or going to gap below Friday's close. And Friday's close was there. So we are currently down 0.3%. Uh, so it's not much. Uh, you can see now how the diagonal starts tying into this. So I'm taking a second level here, which is where I have a limit order in. Because uh, if it does get there, I think it, it'll more than likely just peak and then rally. And then I'm just dropping my stop below the structure here. So fairly um, small position. Uh, it will add to that if it is successful. It's also a gap here as well, which is uh, interesting me. So if we just get down to the 15 minute. I can't really pay too much attention to what happened yesterday. But you can see there is structure right here at 4,000. So there's a gap there. There's a gap there. There is another gap lower down. But I feel if you start getting down into this area, then you're more than likely going to end up uh, sort of dropping a little bit further. So that's kind of my view at the moment. It's my trade could not be may not be picked up. That's one thing you need to bear in mind because we may just look at 4,000. So I'll have a look at that uh, during the course of the day to see if something happens. There is diversions here on the 15 minute as well. And you can see there it is. So I do suspect uh, we just need structure. So it's either here or it's there. And you can see I'm just a little bit above the structure here because of uh, the nature of that structure. So if you just look there, look at how chaotic it is. So I'm picking up on this tail right here. Okay, but there is the deeper structure, which is 43.81. Okay, anyway, that's me for today. Looking to buy either or 4,000 or uh, 43.86.87. That's kind of my view at the moment. And we would probably bump our head here at 44.18 again. Uh, but if there is a strong move, then you're definitely going to be testing Friday's highs here at 44.50. That's it for me. Hope it helps. If you like it, drop us a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.